What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and I'm excited to bring you another Gods Unchained pack opening video, and this one includes some epic Divine Order packs from the last weekend ranked event, and one of the free legendary packs I got at level 50. Alright, so I just did a beginner's guide video where I talked all about opening packs and everything from the percentages that certain cards will show up in them to the different pack types to how you get all these free packs and at what levels and how you can play weekend rank to earn even better packs. So make sure to go check that out. And of course, you're not going to get an opportunity to open all these free packs if you don't first sign up for the game. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure to check out my link in the description of this video, along with my referral code to get started. Now, let's get started opening these packs. My goal is to start making these pack opening videos a little faster. So I'm just going to open them up and talk about uh, the really special cards that do show up. Okay, here we go first. So we got a Layhord Hatchling there. And a Blind Martyr. So an epic card in the rare pack. Uh, and we have 20 total packs I'm going to go through today. But we got an epic one in the first one. So this is actually a very useful card. Blind Martyr has Frontline and Afterlife give plus two health to each other friendly creature. I love seeing that card here. Another epic! Oh my gosh! We just got a Time Bomb for two mana. Roar. If your god is protected, Time Bomb gets plus one strength and protected. Otherwise, your god gains protected. Awesome, awesome. I'm excited about that. And we just got a Wiccan Trapper. This is a really good one for Relic Removal, which you will need absolutely in this game. <laughs> it's another rare pack. One of the core packs. All right, a rare card, Inspirator. Nothing too special right there. Marshwalker, and that's a really great one for the Nature Regen deck, by the way. Uh, I have several videos about that one. Go watch that. I went 20 and 5 in my first, like, uh, serious attempt at Weekend Ranked, and Marshwalker is in that deck. Okay, here we go. This is one of the epic core packs. And I got this one for free from Weekend Ranked. And here is the epic. It is Assistant Alchemist. And I am so happy to get this one because I only had one. And now I have a second one. Uh, it is uh, a one mana 2-2. Two, two, so it's a very aggressive type of card. And says, Roar, select a card that costs no more than... Your total unlocked mana gems reduce its cost by one. So you're making an aggressive deck even faster and more aggressive. But not only that, this can be used in other decks as well where you're trying to assemble some sort of combo or uh, try to counteract even an aggressive deck to get something bigger out sooner, whether that's a big type of removal or big creature. I am so happy to get that card. I am thrilled with this already. Dreaming Scepter. It is a relic, a rare one. I do see that one used from time to time in some folks' decks. Light's Levy is a really good common, by the way. Okay. Y'all ready for this? This is one of the Divine Order epic packs that I got for free from uh, the weekend ranked event. Now, uh, I started out in uh, Midnight Shadow, which means that only 17 of my wins counted towards the rewards. I mean, that's still really, really good. But I took the deck on to go 20 and 5 through the weekend. Um, but uh, this is one of the prizes for the 17 wins. Radiant Dawn is a rare. 
And Helm Hustler is our epic. So it's a three mana, two, four with backline ability. This creature takes one armor from an enemy creature, then deals this creature's armor as damage to it. Uh, that could be really cool in an armor type of meta. I'm not sure if we're there right now. And I think right now with Divine Order being uh, such a, a big expansion pack that a lot of people are opening and playing with, now's the time we would see that. So uh, to me, it's a very fascinating epic card. But it's not one that I think, unfortunately, is going to get a lot of use simply because there's just not enough armor running around. Now, if you've played against armor, it's really tough to deal with the armor, but not impossible. And so you just don't see people loading decks with armor creatures. Here's another epic pack from Divine Order. Oh, nice. We just got a shadow card, Phalanx Lieutenant. This one is a five mana, four one with armor two. I don't know that that's the greatest card, but it's always nice to get a shadow card. We just got another epic. This is like the um, <laughs> the uh, card opening, the pack opening video of epic cards, I think. So it's a five mana storm field, deal two damage to each creature without order and give spell boost plus one to each of your creatures. Interesting. And then mass raise is a rare card. Um, and this one summons uh, three one one zombies. You might see that in a zombie deck from time to time. I don't play that one uh, and probably won't, but an interesting card for the zombie decks nonetheless. And Elephant Mount is the rare in this pack. Okay, here is another epic core pack. Oh, <laughs> another Blind Martyr. That's so funny. Uh, and also, also the uh, Patience Priestess. Okay, nine packs left. Another epic core pack. <laughs> Dionysian Drunk. Uh, three mana, three, two, roar. Switch the strength and health of a creature. And Mire Bloodworm. And this is a very useful one. I see that used in a lot of decks. Basically, it's a one for kind of like a wall type of creature that uh, gives other creatures burn plus one. But this uh, Di Dionysian Drunk, um, I don't see this too often, but it could potentially um, allow for some shenanigans in certain decks with synergy. Athenian Conjurer and Marshwalker in the same pack. Two rares. Marshwalker's so good. I love Marshwalker. Very underrated card, I think. Oh. What? <laughs> we just got a three mana, one, one legendary card. The Corallus Rune Moth. It says backline. At the end of your turn, add a random rune to your hand and reduce its cost to zero. That's super cool. I'm excited to get that. I'm excited to get that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm excited to get that. And if there's anyone watching this video that has seen this card used in a deck, which I have, um, I just don't know what the real synergy with it could possibly be. So if you have seen this card played, I want to know because I would love to start brewing with something like this. And just for those of you who are newer to Gods Unchained, legendary cards like this, you can have one of in your deck. So it's not like you can necessarily build a deck around it. So the deck needs to have synergies to go along with a legendary card like this. Every other card type like uh, Epic and Rare and Commons, uh, you can have uh, two of in each deck. Another Rare pack. Cursed Caporia, Capora. That jungle princess is good. That common. Harvest. Oh, <laughs> another epic. We got a Harvest Arachne. Uh, 
which I don't know if I've had that card before or not, but it's a three mana, three, two with deadly kills, whatever creature it deals damage to. And then we got a four mana, two, two relic. So two strength and two durability. Uh, it has blitz and afterlife destroy a random creature. That's kind of cool because this card could potentially be a three for one if it comes out and can kill two small creatures or help to kill a creature or two and then destroys uh, a random creature with afterlife. Problem is, notice it doesn't say random enemy creature. It just says random creature. You could end up killing one of yours. So it's sort of incentivizing you to be more of a control deck that doesn't really have a creature to kill. Dreaming Scepter, Gorilla Training. All right. A couple of rares there. Wicked Fae. Um, this one I see used from time to time, and I've used this one too. Uh, what's nice about it is it can come out and clean up a small creature that has one health left. Um, and then you get two cards out of this one for the price of two mana. So you can potentially remove one of their creatures and get two cards, both 1-1s, one -ones, which is a net of potentially three cards for you. That is a little bit of an underrated card, but not super powerful. So I, like, I don't su suggest just throwing it in every deck. Belligerent Warlock. Oh, <laughs> and a Ritual Rod. So another Epic. This, this is just the pack opening video of Epics, and I am thrilled. So one mana, two, two, two strength and two durability. Uh, roar add one durability to this relic if you control a mystic and this goes really well in those aggressive light decks or those like mid-range light decks where you have a lot of mystics uh, so this thing can come out and uh, basically deal two damage three times so again another card that can potentially be a three for one depending on what is on the other side of the battlefield but it only costs one mana and we have our legendary pack. All right. What are we going to get? Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. We got Laid on Euclid Dragon, which is an 8 mana, 12, 12, Roar. Give burn plus 3 to each enemy creature. If you have at least 6 cards in hand, deal 2 damage to each enemy creature. Wow. So to me, this looks like a card that you could totally use in one of those like board wipe decks as a top end win condition. So uh, if, if you know what I'm talking about, there's um, a death deck out there that just wipes the board repeatedly with multiple cards, just constantly has ways to two for one, three for one, four for one, uh, the opponent where you get rid of four of their cards, five of their cards even um, for the price of one. This one's going to come out and do something like that, but it's on a stick, meaning it's on a big, big body. It's going to be really hard for any opponent to deal with this creature after it comes out, but getting to eight mana is hard. That's why those uh, death board wipe decks have a lot of cards that are getting rid of creatures all the way up until they get to something like this where they can play a card like this. The only problem with uh, something like that is you got to find this creature. I have like multiple types of win conditions in your deck because... Uh, what if this card is just sitting on the bottom of the deck? You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm super excited to have this. Oh, that's amazing. That feels good. All right. Excellent. Well, that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.